some hero beatdowns going on. But this is quite a refreshing matchup to see, actually. It's you'd expect it to be a mirror matchup of some Ooh, sort. Ooh, Stratos. Are we gonna see out. the secondary effect of Stratos? Well if some rise oh, to the field. Oh, breakthrough skill. That's gonna stop off Stratos. Activate a trap card. Show yourself. Elemental hero Neo. Yeah, it's gonna stop Stratos. In his tracks. Wow, that was a very well played move I there from Flishrin. Yeah. Code does have the kind of advantage on the that sunrise effect. Oh, another trap! Trap tricks trap all night there. That's going to be able to deal with sunrise because it was summoned this turn. This is exactly what we anticipated was not going to happen. We basically thought the once that sunrise comes out, and you attack with the others. And another trap! Summon a monster. Good lord! This has been an amazing game. Because he sent Neos with the the favorite hero. With the skill, and then Hero blasts the Stratos, and now Cole just his got dismantled. Totally okay. dismantled. Have a cool power. And we see once again favorite hero with the miracle fusion. Yeah, that miracle fusion again. Goodness me! So it could all come down to this because there's only one card on Cole's field right now, and we are going to see the Grand Neos once again, I, I believe. Oh no, going into Brave Neos, I saw them all, so I figured we were maybe going to see that, but nope, Brave Neos, even stronger. Flishren visually looking quite hyped up Flishren here. Flishren thinks they've won, and it, they could well have right here, let's see what happens. There's those direct attacks. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything's coming out of Ko's hand here. Let's see if Brave Neos... Ko's looking disappointed, the hands on the back of the head, that body language is saying it's all over for me, I've been defeated by heroes with heroes, and it looks like we're seeing our first two game win! We are! So that is Ko in fourth place of the KCGT, and Fishrin taking that third place victory. So that wow. was brilliant. We didn't get to see their third decks, but it doesn't no. matter because we got to see an exceptionally fun hero versus hero deck, and that mm -hmm. was great. We got to see way more of that elemental hero deck than we didn't get to see before. Yeah, it does make Absolutely. sense to me. This this matchup made sense to me because mm -hmm. obviously Jaden is much more practiced with the elemental heroes than Alexis is. True, so if we're thinking about this in anime world logic, that actually makes total sense and <laughs> we should have seen this coming. But it was very interesting seeing the sort of combination of fusions. Those are those back-to-back -back three face downs, those traps. That was so good. That was so well thought out. Yeah. It's basically like they knew what was going to happen. They knew yeah. exactly the moves to play. They drew perfectly. The heart of the cards were there. And it came through for them massively mm -hmm. there. Just dismantled. Commiserations to yeah. Ko there because Ko did. Oh, four four players. Four four players, players amazing. Were Absolutely amazing. But commiserations. But that's fourth place and third place decided, which means the next game that you guys are going to see here on this here English coverage it's of the KCGT 2022 for Dual Links is going to be the grand final. And it's going to be incredibly exciting. So that means we've got who's in the final? We've got Guy. We do. Guy versus Jorfio. Exactly. Guy versus Jorfio. Very exciting. Now let's go through some. Do we remember any of the decks? Because we have none of this written down. There's a Necros deck in there. We know there's going to be Black Rose Dragon decks. I think both players have the have the Rose Dragon. Okay. Maybe, maybe we see the mirror matchup. Imagine they both think maybe, that first game. Or what maybe. if they both save them for the third game? Yeah. Well, I think you have to save them. Which I'd either get mine out the gate straight away or do it in the second round just in case something happened in that first. But we are going to quickly cut over to an interview for you guys to see with our third place winner. But it all has to come to an end. Attack Brave Neos. I lost. Jaden, you never cease to surprise me, but I'll surprise you next time. There's something I want to tell you. Thanks for a sweet duel, now and forever.
toss the coin and uh, decide what to do. So I trust on coins. Yeah, I was kind of leaving my choice to my coins. And this is the coin. <laughs> yes, that's right. Oh, once again, do you have any message for your fans and the people around you? Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel because I have an English name on that. Oh, please look me up on my YouTube. You're gonna see some videos. Thank you so much. All right, congratulations on your win. That was Mr. Frischlem. Give him a big clap. Thank you. Thank you so much.
And welcome back to the KCGT for Dual Links in 2022. So we are now into the final round. You've seen both the semi-finals, you've seen the third and fourth place game, but now it all comes down to this. Tens of thousands of duelists all playing on Dual Links through the KCGT, making their way to the top cut, all going through the various stages of the tournament that we've seen so far all leading to this one duel. Now, Luke, we have actually written down, because like we said, we don't have these in front of us, but we have seen enough of both of these two duelists through the semi-finals to know what their decks are. So we tried to use our memories. Yeah, so there's a chance some of these are wrong, but here's what we've got. So Jorfio. For show. Mm -hmm. For I show. Think, I think Jorfio is playing Necros. Yes. Primarily. Yes. Of course. The Metal Foes. Mm -hmm. And of course, both players playing the Rose Dragon deck. Absolutely. So that means Guy is playing Rose Dragon, Hero, and Phantom Knights. We from think what we remember. We think it could be I'm anything. A bit, at this point. I'm a little bit not sure about Guy's because his his match with Cole was so dynamic. It was over so fast. But speaking of things being over so fast, this little bit of the conversation is over now because we're going to head over to the grand final here at the KCGT. It's going to be very exciting. And right now we're seeing Sartorius versus Kite, which means we were wrong. We were wrong. It was it was worth the try, Luke. We tried to remember. So maybe it wasn't Phantom Knights. Maybe it was Photons. But also remember, guys, if you are watching this and you are also a Duel Links player yourself, remember that the celebration campaign Duel. is live on Duel Links, so you can get a total of 1,000 gems, a special game mat, and also unlock some extra characters and skills as well. So log in to Duel Links to get these and also get your hands on that ultra-rare dream ticket. So before we get on to Shuffle Reborn, quickly, I'm a big fan of the fact that we were wrong because it shows there was so much variety. It really was, and actually, I, I'm okay that we own the fact that we got those decks wrong because it's been a pleasant surprise. And already, seeing Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon straight away, this is a very, very common play that we've seen from this duelist with this deck. So Guy already getting out that Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. How incredibly exciting this and is. And the Galaxy Knight. And obviously the Galaxy Knight. So we are going to see the Photon Lord once again, most likely. Let's see. Let's see what happens. See if they manage to do that. He's going to build the overlay network. Let's see. Here it is. Number 90. There it is. This is all very exciting. Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord ready to rock. I don't know what I do. Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord. And that is a... That is the play for the Photon deck. We are going to see Yorfio here, starting with the Light Barrier. He can barely contain himself. He is standing up in the middle of his room. But there comes the Light Barrier, starting off with a Vol Flame in that right-hand Pendulum Zone, using its effect to destroy the Light Barrier, get that Metal Foes Fusion straight out of the deck. And we're going to see a set monster. That's kind of normal if you want to use that fusion purposing purposes because that's going to get put straight into the extra deck and we are going to see the full Metalfoes Alkahest not seen this one quite yet straight away Metalfoes Fusion going to use its secondary effect to shuffle itself back into the deck and draw a card and then we do see in the end phase the Photon Lord's effect it's going to get the Photon Stream of Destruction a little bit different from last time we saw getting Galaxy Zero and now we head back to Gi. So we saw both players begin with their kind of defensive maneuvers, shall we say. Absolutely. But already things are sort of, you know, kicking back into another gear because once we get into <laughs> Destiny Latitude. Exactly. So we do see the full Metal Force fusion. So immediately, that's going to summon something from the extra deck. He hit jo Joffio's using two monsters from hand. That's very interesting. We see a second Alkahest. But those Alkahests have got a very interesting effect. So when it's fusion summoned once per turn during your opponent's turn, you can target one effect monster on the field. Equip that target to this card. This card gains defense equal to the combined original attack of the monsters equipped by its effect. You can use monsters you control equipped this card as material for the fusion summon of a Metal Foes fusion monster that lists them as material. So that is very, very good way of depriving your opponent of resources while strengthening your own field, but we are going to see that Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon Xyz there. I love Sartorius' lines. Ha! You fool! <laughs> you fell for it! 
but we do see oh the quick play spell he had a second photon stream of destruction Good, Jeremy. he's been very fortunate with some of his draws here but goodness look at that in the end this is how it resolves Joffio is able to take the full metal armored Photon Dragon, Photon Lord but straight back out. He does have the Galaxy Zero in hand. That's why I guess he didn't search for it with the mm -hmm. with Photon Lord last turn. And he's gonna straight away rank up into the Armored Exceed Summon. So we are gonna see another full metal Photon Dragon. Here it comes. This is going to be very exciting. So I'm wondering exactly how this kind of ties up here because. Is Key's plan to just attack into it, and then they both have the same? No. Ah, of course, of course he can use the, the effect. Yeah, of course, that's a direct attack. Does Jorfio got any enough. response there? Looks by the look on Jorfio's face, he doesn't look like he's going. No, he does not. And there it is. So Guy has taken that first round. No. Yes, I'm afraid that is exactly what's happened. Guy has taken that first round with an amazing play from that Photon deck, but don't worry, there's plenty more that can happen here, because as we've seen in every round, it ain't over until the last card is played. Yeah, Anything very interesting there. Two very different duelists as well. Mm. Guy, very, very stoic, very focused. Joffio. Jovio a bit more emotion. Buzzing with energy. There were a couple of moments yeah. where he was getting I mean, up out of his chair. Of yeah, why wouldn't you? And you're in the final of the KCGT. But there was way, like I said, way more physicality from Jovio. That was a very interesting duel. That, again, could have gone either way for a mm. lot of that. But that Galaxy Eyes deck just has... Yeah. I think it's just got the edge. But there's still two more seem... games, potentially. So it may not be over. Yes, it was a very strong start for mm -hmm. uh, Guy there. But we're going to have to see what happens with these next two so we know that there's the black rose dragon decks but uh, when would those come out i think they're going to end on those yeah so now we've seen we've seen metal foes from joffio so he's got necros and black rose left mm. um i'm not going to try and remember again what hero and uh is black, it hero and blackwing i think blackwing Blackwing. <laughs> black rose black dragon rose. I mean, I'm a big fan. Imagine of if the Black Wings like... did manage to make it. Bam, way into this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be an interesting format to see. So yeah, we could see. I, I think there's a chance we could see. You know, the Rose Dragon versus the Necros matchup for the next round or the third round. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of questioning to myself because it's quite spooky. Because I guess the Necros deck is going to be built to beat the Rose Dragon deck. So do you want to put out your Rose Dragon deck now? Well, so if I were if I were one in the lead, if I were Guy, I'd probably put out Rose Dragon now. Yeah, because you think you think this it, is let's get let's secure that. Let's victory. Try, yeah, let's try secure. The so victory. that means I would you know there for them try and pick Necros. But if they don't do that, and then it's Necros in something that's a slightly less fortunate matchup, then that's not going to be a smart move for them to do either. Because this is the thing: if Guy is thinking, oh, maybe I just secure the matchup by playing my Rose Dragon deck. Oh, but hold on. Joffio thinks that I might play Rose Dragon to secure this the This is that up. whole rock, paper, then, scissors then, thing, <laughs> isn't it? Yep. And then if he thinks that he's going to do that, then he might think, oh, well, I'll switch to my third deck because Necros might not be as strong against that. And suddenly we end up uh, down a very deep hole. I mean, anything. What if, what if, what if. Anything could happen here. And this, don't, yeah. it does, like I said, it does turn into that rock, paper, scissors thing of, well, everybody plays, most commonly plays scissors. And that means everyone's psychology is going, well, if everyone plays scissors, then I should probably play rock. But then they're everyone's gonna, thinking If everyone's that. thinking that, then I should probably play paper. But then everyone's thinking that, so maybe I should just stick with scissors. It's going to be a real psychology meta game going on here. Mm -hmm. And I guess we are going to see what's going to happen. And we'll be bringing that next game to you very, very shortly. But don't worry, we're going to have plenty more action here in the KC GT final coming up for you. And the I'm galaxy, so excited. The Galaxy Photon deck, that opening with Photon Lord, seems Twice so now. Powerful. We've seen that twice. So mm -hmm. that's just how... It, you know, consistent that deck is. 20 cards, all you need to just be able to instantly get that card out. Yeah. And just and have such skill. a dominant field, and the skill as well. It's such an amazing deck, and you know, it is probably a wise move to just get that out there, get that momentum for all three games in this yeah. final round. So I guess we'll have to see what happens with these next ones. I'm so curious, and I'm so excited, and I'm almost antsy and anxious i want to see what their next deck picks are mm -hmm. because anything could happen and it could be it could be a 
the the only other two game sweep that we've seen. Yeah. But mostly it's gone down to the third. And actually, frankly, for a final, would be exciting to see it really come down to that three game thing. But if Guy does win with a two game sweep, then fair play to Guy because that is all that is needed in order to win this kind of stuff. So I guess we're going to see. We have a little bit of time before the next one. Hopefully it should be coming up any second right now. Just waiting for our players to get ready. Don't rush them. This is the final of the KCGT. They've had to beat tens of thousands of duelists to get to the point that they are at now. It's a long process. It's a long old process. And remember, if you guys are watching this and you're Duel Links players or you're interested in getting into Duel Links, be sure to go and download that for free from the App Store, the Apple Store, and you guys can be on that and play it. And you can get involved in the KCGT promotional stuff right now you can win character tickets unlock you get tickets. skill unlock tickets you get a ultra rare dream ticket as well as well as a thousand gems and a play mat so it's going to be a very very exciting time for you to get involved the, in the, dueling the play mat of course showing the uh, the photon deck that we just saw so, so yeah you're already involved if you haven't started yet so what a great time for you to get into dual links and who knows maybe the next time the kcgt comes around someone who's just started playing today will be one of the people that we're commentating over next time very exciting to know and what deck will you be playing i'm going to be very excited to see how the format evolves before the next kcgt just because mm -hmm. It's so different from where we were. I think the last one you and I did was maybe in 2020? Yeah. So a while ago. And it was amazing how different some of the formatting was. There was a lot of... God, goodness, was it Sword Soul Tenyi at the time? Mm, no, 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 sorry, Tenyi. Uh, am I thinking Tenyi? Why, why, why am I saying Tenyi? You're getting excited about Sword Soul Tank. We saw that last weekend. Yes, yeah, sorry, you're right. I'm stuck in the European Champions. But there was one that we were seeing, and for some reason my brain is wanting to say Tenyi. Well, I, I know for sure. Since the last time that, that we commentated it, we've seen a lot of the new worlds being introduced to Duel Links, which of course is happening all the time. The most recent one being the Arc 5 world, mm. the introduction of Pendulum Summoning, which we didn't get to see too much in that last game, but in the top four, we really saw that pulling its weight. We really did, and actually wasn't anticipating seeing that, but what we are anticipating seeing is an extra game in this semi-final. So you've seen one, it is currently 1-0 to Guy, so we're going to take you guys over any second to the final, 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 final. A lot of finals in there. Possibly yes, final. Possibly final. This is match point right now, this is tournament point. If Guy can secure this game, then it's all good. We'll see what ends up happening. Our duelists are ready, so we're going to cut on over to that. And it's oh! the mirror matchup! Yes, we called it. We said this was going to happen, Luke. At some point, we knew the psychology was there. We trusted that this was going to be what happens. Oh my so goodness. Who's, wait, who's scissors? I, learned I don't know. They're both scissors in this case. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, oh, let's this is see. so exciting. <laughs> Who's going to get to go first? Who's got the trap cards they need? This all comes down to just who who believes in the heart of the cards the most. Exactly. Who can get exactly what they need? So we are going to see the Rock Rose Dragon straight away from the skill. Can we go and search the deck? Guy is looking super focused right now. Yes, Guy is a very, very focused gentleman when it comes to these kind of things. And like we said, George... Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh. that's going to be the end uh, for Guy. That's, I can't tell if that was a slightly underutilized turn or if it was a perfect turn that's really going to damage a big play from Jorfio in this time and yeah. then just be able for Guy to swing in on turn three, you know? Yeah. It's very hard to tell at this stage. I guess only time will tell... It's going to be exciting. We're seeing that White Rose Dragon and a Rock I Rose just, Dragon. I always get a bit scared when I see no Synchro Monster oh. to begin with. Oh, it's a Floodgate Trap Hole. Okay. So now, this is what I mean. Oh, in this matchup, Floodgate Trap Hole is amazing because that is going to set the monster face down and it's going to stay there. Mm -hmm. I'll end my turn. Here I We've go. seen that Basil as well. My turn. I feel like I both players had a little bit of an underwhelming first turn. It does seem that way. We're on that turn mm. three. If Guy can pull what he needs, this is going to be a very, very swift victory for Guy. But we're going to have to see what happens. What are we bringing out here? Another White Rose Dragon. Yeah, so at this point, White Rose Dragon's effect is going to activate. 
and he's going to be able to go into that synchro summon play. Jopio has just one single set card. It needs to it be a good one. He doesn't look worried. He doesn't look worried. He doesn't, but also that could be the sort of crushed face of defeat. At this point, I can't tell. Ooh, is he feeling confident? I just don't know, but we're going to see that Black Rose Dragon come out right now. No, we're not. No, we're no, going to see the Yazzie. Yazzi. Maybe he doesn't want to... He doesn't want to... Doesn't want to lose. The Black Rose yeah, yeah, too yeah. Quickly. You gotta play this quite carefully, because mm -hmm. for Guy, this can sort of. But I, if, it's you a win -win rose, for if you black rose, if you black you 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 and you've got no follow up, then you set yourself up to you know you're destroying your own cards. It's a good point. So you've got to be ready with that. Okay, there's that basil rose shoot. We're gonna see another rose dragon monster. We do coming see out. the carrot weight champion is there in the wings as well. So we might now see the. The Black Rose Dragon. I feel the tension in every decision that our two duelists are having to make right now. Jorfio is nodding though a little. There was a little bit of confidence there from Jorfio, so I think he is feeling confident. But we are going to see Gi Synchro Summon right now. I think it is going to be that Black Rose Dragon. Let's see it. There it is, Black Rose Dragon, which means all of those cards. Let's see one more time, possibly. That gorgeous animation in that rose-filled forest. Mm -hmm. The Black Garden itself. Oh, wow. It's so gorgeous. There it is, Black Rose Dragon. Potentially for the last time here in the KCGT. We're going to see, see the carrot weight cards. as well. Yep, there's that. Oh. There's the carrot weight champion. Special summon coming out. There he is. And he's going to use Black Rose Dragon's second effect the first time we're seeing this. It's so important. It's going to flip up that Rock Rose Dragon and set its attack to zero. Okay. And now it's time. And I do think Jorfio is realizing what is happening here. Sadly, I think you are right. I think that looks like Guy has possibly taken this. Black Rose Dragon going for that final attack. It's not over yet. No, a couple more, a little bit more. We do have the Carrot Weight Champion. Don't think so. No, he's Hello. going to, yeah, of course he's going to be able to get Rock's Rose Dragon's effect. Is that going to help? No, it isn't. Oh, wait! Oh, he has a bit of Rose Shoot. shoot. Okay, he gets to summon one Rose Dragon monster from your hand or graveyard in defense position. So that is going to protect Jorfio's uh, life points there. Yeah. And now this this comes down to, can Jorfio make a big comeback after this? Does Guy have any set cards? I can't quite see back there. I believe one, at least. I vaguely remember there being one. Maybe t possibly two. Oh, there's... Oh! oh there's enemy, enemy, controller. enemy controller. And that is, that is enough. Just 200 life points. And there it is. Yeah. Oh my goodness, what an exceptional play there from Guy. Guy breathing a sigh of relief because he knows it's completely over. Guy has beaten Jorfio two games to Guy in that final, especially when it came down to a Rose Dragon deck mirror match, which we, we joked about, mm -hmm. we discussed because we wanted to see it. But there is your world champion Guy taking it off the mirror match. How incredibly exciting for Guy. Very, very very appropriate that the carrot weight world champion was, was the one, was the one to, that is uh, a very well observed <laughs> to, to deal the final crazy. blow there what can i say wow i mean this has been a non-stop unpredictable tournament from start to finish than what yeah. we've seen these finals have been so exciting so tense i'm so happy that we got to bear witness to this he should perfect play there he didn't overcome it in that first turn he had the set cards that he needed, he kept those resources and then showed them that's when they That enemy to be used. controller. That, oh. that last second enemy controller, we thought it might have had to go over an extra couple of turns. And there was that yeah. moment where you thought Jorfio might have been able to claw it back even on 200 life points. But no. That What's character. beautiful is that even during the European Championships last week, we also <laughs> saw enemy controller being mm. a big, big impactful card. And again here in Duel Links. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. We are going to be coming with a very, very 
you know, excited interview racing. with the current KCGT champion, Guy, in just a moment. We'll be throwing that over to you guys. But this has been an amazing tournament so far, and I'm so happy, like I said, that we got to bear witness to this. I didn't see any part of any of what we saw coming. You and I went nuts when those Black Rose Dragon decks were clearly being the mirror match up there. This has been so tense, so exciting. I hope a lot of you guys have enjoyed this. And remember, if you have enjoyed watching this Duel Links KCGT, to make sure that you guys get on and currently take part in the campaign celebration that we've got going on, where you can get a thousand gems, you can get all sorts of extra goodies. Now is the time to play. But we're going to head over to our world champion interview right now. Right, please tell us how you feel right now. Yes, I have all my friends and I practice a whole lot with them. So many people have supported me all the way until this at this very point. So what do you think what leads you to win today? Well, I think I depend on the Gandra deck and I try to read the deck and which card to play first and the second. So you have to be very constructive on your plan? Yes, I had to. And then you now became a champion. And now you have acquired this trophy. And how do you feel about this? Oh yes, this is very variable and I'm so pleased to have it with me. And this tournament? So what do you think is the deck and the card that you played is confident of? The Gandra was the one that made me win. So you think the active and your favorite one this time is a Gandra one? Yes, it is. Yeah, it's been... All right, congratulations on your championship. Finally. All right, please give us a message for your people and the fan. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Okay, so that is going to be it from the English coverage of the KCGT. Congratulations again to Guy. That was the best possible finishing that we could have seen there in that final. Very exciting. Luke, thank you so much for joining me on this. It's been great thank fun. You, have you had a good time? Oh, absolutely. The, the number of different decks we've had and just the, the strategies involved, the intricacies between the, the kind of meta matchups here have been absolutely divine to watch. It really has, and this has been so exciting, and I hope, like it has for us, that it's revitalized a huge amount of passion and desire to go and play Duel Links right now, and maybe you guys will be in the next KCGT. I've been Ed Templer. Thank you very much for joining Luke and I here on the English coverage. It's been absolutely amazing, and we hope to see you guys at another event very soon.